Hey everyone, welcome to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. And today I'll be painting up those, uh, those I'm still working on those orc knobs from last time. I've been busy lately working on my table. So I'm going to take a break for an hour from my table and paint some orc knobs. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So as always, grab some paints, grab some brushes, grab some models, paint along with me. Let's rid our worlds of unpainted models. Slowly but surely, my world is becoming painted. And less and less models are unpainted. That's the good part. So I'll talk about my weeks uh, since last time, and I'll paint, and let's have some fun. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, so today I'll be working on these knobs. I'll be just painting the uh, more dye in blue, my old, for my old paints, for work on some blue stuff. I'm gonna just do a model at a time, basically. Once I finish up this, uh, it's pretty humid where I'm working, so it's gonna take a while to dry, but uh, it'll be good. We'll keep working on these guys, get them done, get them in battle reports eventually. I've already done one battle report recently with um, the Wag Goscal Supplement. It was fun. It was cool. It was a good, good game. You know, Wag Goscal Supplement is pretty hard to run in battle reports because the paint points costs. But uh, that's okay. What else is new and exciting? Yeah, that game table has been coming along quite well. By the way, I should mention, of course, as always, this is a free video, and the free videos are brought to you by my Patreon subscribers, right? Not only your support, but the people on Patreon. For supporting my videos, a huge thank you to all the Patreoners. And link in the description below if you'd like to support me too. And the reason is, is because, it, you know, I work a lot, and the Patreon money is a little bit I can set aside so that I can set aside uh, some time for my free content, right? Makes sense. So if you want to help me out, that'd be awesome. If not, no problem. Keep, you know, watching my videos, supporting my videos, painting along with me. And that's, that's what matters. So yeah, these knobs are cool. I, uh, I put them together using some bits from a box. And then after these knobs are done, I'll paint some uh, Burna Boys, I'm guessing. Um, I'm excited about orcs only because there's an, um, uh, the month of October, I'm going to deem, we're deemed Orktober, where I'm actually, um, there's a group of, of, Wargamers heading my way and eventually many Wargamer. We're all going to go together. I think I might join them for a day or two. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with Spock. Um, maybe bring him along with me. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, maybe I'll leave him in daycare. Mm, doggy daycare, maybe. Mm, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I'll figure out what I want to do with Spock. And then um, Cody Rue and the group of them, Mike. And um, probably Brent, Hugh, I'm guessing. Hugh, I think, is, is... And then, like, Ben, like, a huge group of people is, is coming to Peterborough to play for a day against me. And then, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, because I can't film a battle report that day, probably. We'll figure it out. But uh, it'll be a lot of fun. And then, after that, we're heading to Mini Wargaming, probably, for a couple days. They're going to chill at Mini Wargaming for a week. They did it last year as well. It was a lot of fun, except everyone got terrible food poisoning, or the flu, or something. So hopefully that does not happen this year. I called it chicken tartare disease. So, look at that. So he's basically done. I'm going to do the, the horn and the couple bit, bits in brass. And then start shading him with Agrax Earthshade and all the oil. Oh, shoot, I need to grab my Agrax Earthshade. It's with the gaming table. That's okay. Right now, Jays are playing really well. That makes me happy. I'm going to go see a Jays game. I was going to go to early, early in the weekend. I just couldn't get it. Couldn't uh, get out of work. You know? I'm working a lot, to be honest. I'm, I'm really burning myself out working, but it's okay. It keeps me busy. I'm going to grab the non oil and while I'm talking to you all. Uh, it's okay. It's in the workshop, so it's just right here. So... Yeah, but the game table's coming along well. Uh, right now, so the last month, the last day I had off, to be honest, I wasn't working at one of my two other jobs, was the Monday of the long weekend for May 2-4 weekend. And I'm pretty sure the next day I'm going to have off is um, July 1st, Canada Day. So, it's a few days in a row. Yeah, a lot. Like, basically, I'm working like 35 straight days. 
But that's okay. I'm a little burned out sometimes, but I keep my energy going. I'm having a good time. As I said, I'm getting really back into the groove, and that's what makes me really happy. Uh, I'm getting back in the groove painting-wise. I've, I've done so much painting on that table. Um, it's well over halfway there. It's probably two-thirds of the way there right now. And so that's good. All right, so two-thirds. And what else? Um... I've been just working, having a good time. Um, I really like my new job that I've been doing for about five months. Um, I have one more month. It's a six-month probation. So my goal is if the Patreon gets high enough, which it, maybe if it gets you know decent enough in the next few months, I can quit my, my secondary job and just do well, my one job and, and film videos. And then I'd be probably the happiest person ever. You know, it'd be nice to just work two jobs, including my videos, make regular content for you all once again. And, uh, and I'd love doing it. But we'll see. You know, no pressure on you guys. I understand everyone has lives and they're busy and not everyone can support and that, that makes sense. You know, I'm not, I don't walk around life with my hand open. I really don't. I work really hard. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to keep going, working my butt off and... Burn it, burning the midnight oil, burning the candle at two ends, whatever it's called. You know. The thing that keeps me on the positive side and everything and is just the support I get from you guys. One of the huge it's one of the huge aspects of my life that I can't thank you enough for is the support I get from the gaming community. You know, and, and like, two of the people that have supported me a lot, there's so many people I can name, but two of the people are, are Cody Rue and Josh. And the thing is, I know both of them are going through similar life experiences as I am. And that's, it's really, you know, it feels awesome knowing that their support is behind me, and also that I have someone to go through the same stuff at the same time, similar situation. I'm not, I'm not going through their lives or anything. I don't want to discuss you know, their lives without me know, them knowing it. But um, it's really cool knowing that. It really is. I'm going to stay positive in life, keep working really, really hard for the next few months, pay off some debt, maybe buy a smart car. My car's starting to die. So, we'll see. Um, my car is starting to get on its last legs, and it's almost paid off, which is good, because I was hoping it would just survive till it's paid off, and it, it, it's almost paid off. I'll have it paid off at the end of summer, but it's starting to really break down. It has, you know, 240,000 kilometers, so, but uh, we'll see. Brooke kind of drove the crap out of it. <laughs> It's all cool. I like painting orcs. My hands are a little shaky right now for some reason, but uh, I love painting orcs. It brings me back to when I start, started getting back into the hobby back in um, fifth. I got really into orcs and painted a whole lot of boys, and I'm really happy that I'm back painting boys because it's, it's a cool feeling. You know? It's it's a go. It brings me back to like a, a happy spot. To be honest, that I you know, it's fun painting boys. They're they're orcs are one of my favorite armies to paint. So, excuse me. So let's paint some metallics. I'll get some shading to these guys. As you can see, the, pet, the paint is just really wet because it's uh, really, really it's, um, moist in here. It's very uh, humid.
probably in the shoes as well. Well, it's, I saw Ninja Turtles 2 the other day. It was pretty bad, but I liked it. It's just a typical, you know, Michael Bay movie. Explosion, explosion, explosion. Slow motion explosion. Really weird violence. No story. Megan Fox. You know? And once you take that into consideration, it's a fun movie to watch. You know, if that's just it. It's just a fun movie. You don't go expecting much, and you have a good time. And that was basically it. It, wasn't, it was not, uh, by any means, an Oscar Academy Award winning movie. Uh, it was pretty, pretty bad, but uh, I had fun. It was Ninja Turtles, you know. I grew up watching Ninja Turtles. Great, you know. So, I'm not going to say any spoilers, other than it was really, really bad. But, uh, I'm guessing you all kind of knew that ahead of time, because, again, it's a Michael Bay movie. Um, yeah. I don't know, not all Michael Bay movies are bad. I'm not saying that, for the record. But his, is whenever he takes on something like Ninja Turtles or Transformers, you, you know it's not going to be, uh, the greatest work. It won't be Shawshank Redemption. Or, you know. So, but it was fun. I had a good time. I found some 3D glasses and I had a good time. So I went with a friend and mm -hmm. look at that. So he's basically done. I'll give him some shading when he's dried. And good. I just go to a Jays game. I really want to go. As soon as I find something to go with, I'll go. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. What color did I use for the other wrap? I did it. I guess bone, probably. I'm trying to remind myself what I color I used to use for the wraps and the, the axes. Probably Shefty Bone, I'm guessing. Let's go with Shefty Bone. Bases are loaded. Michael Saunders is up to bat. Jay's reference. Hmm, where do I want to paint this guy? Yeah, I'll go blue for his, his axe. Yeah, see this one little hour that we're going to spend together. These guys will be almost done by the time of it, and then next time, week I'll have them based and good. Of course, my goal is for next week to have the, um, the big thing is to have the game table done. I'd really like to start filming battle reports with it. I already have some terrain that would fit really well on it. So, it'll be good. pretty good yeah as I said my eventual goal is just to go down to like one job and make and then film videos I don't think I'll ever be able to solely film videos I have to get some crazy support like I have to get do go to switch like every video and so because right now my patreon is per month and uh, I'd have to switch like every video and get like it wouldn't be that much hmm hundred dollars I think a hundred bucks. Yeah, it is a lot. hundred dollars per video would be, yeah, if I got like a hundred bucks for, per video, I could be able to quit my other jobs. Or maybe just go, yeah, oh, if I got 40, no, 
$30 per video, I could be able to quit my secondary job. So, well, maybe I should think about that. Ah, whatever. It's all good. Hmm. I don't be greedy. Let's keep painting. Having some fun. Uh, maybe I'll paint his hair. Oh, no. I'll do a glow for just metallics, yeah. Pretty simple color scheme. some blue and I'll put it for the hair uh, what else do I want to do there? and then we're just gonna paint the last guy apply some shading paint. <laughs> cool. Let's keep mixing, 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 mixing. Blue Jays are playing pretty well. Summer's here. Like, that's a great thing. I feel like summer's finally here. Um, it feels like summer is here. And that's as I said, that, that's awesome. I am feeling the warmth again and it's, it's nice. I love summer. Summer's a great season. Yeah, see. It's a fun season. It's probably like the, especially in Peterborough, all the fun things happen. You know? Peterborough comes alive in the spring and, and just in the summertime. There's so many things to do in Peterborough area. So I'm going to do some this summer. Obviously, I'm going to the concert series, which it starts next week with Serena Ryder. She's probably going to be the highlight of the entire summer. <laughs> this week's painting tutorial, in case you're curious, was a Necron Sentry Pylon. It was really fun to paint up for my friend. Um, it was just a just a model I, I painted up for a friend for free for um, my friend Dave. He was in a bunch of my battle reports. He, he, he likes to help me out. Like He's always in battle reports with me. So, you know, I don't care occasionally just painting a model, especially when I can get uh, make a tutorial out of it. So the only downside with summer being back is Revy McRaberson. Now for those of you who don't know Revy McRaberson, the old I'll sit back and I will tell you a tale of the infamous Revy McRaberson. So Revy McRaberson is my name for my neighbor who lives across the street from me, who has a motorcycle. I, I have a motorcycle too. I don't judge him for having a motorcycle or anything, but um, he revs his motorcycle a lot. Like he just likes to have his motorcycle in his garage or his driveway and just rev it. I don't really understand why. Or he'll like rev it for like five minutes and then he'll go around the block once and then he'll rev it some more. And I'm like, what? why are you revving your motorcycle? Like you probably go through so much gas just revving your motorcycle. So... And he used to always start, no matter what time I filmed, it would always be during my painting with Jays last summer. So just to warn you guys, Revy McRaberson's back. Now, it's it's pretty late right now, so I don't think he's going to be out tonight. But I'll tell you a tale of the case of Revy McRaberson. So. These numbers are cool. They're going to be cool to paint on the battlefield. And then I'm going to paint my first Burna Boys starting next week. I, I don't actually have any Burna Boys painted whatsoever. I have a bunch of Ludas. I prefer Ludas, and I still prefer Ludas. Because Burna Boys are very situational, and they're slow. 
You know, Ludas can just sit at the back in terrain and just fire, 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 fire. You roll a bunch of dice, hopefully get lucky, things die, right? Makes sense. But Burna Boys, you have to be really careful with because if your opponent has an answer to them, they're dead, and then you lost a giant squad. Like, um, what I usually do is I, I face Burna Boys more times than I can count, and the Burna Boys are always in a vehicle, right? Because that's their strength. Other than one time I played against them, they were on foot, and I was like, oh, they're dead. They're not going to make it to me because I'm going to shoot them dead. Because Burna Boys don't really have a good armor save. So, uh, Burna Boys got, um, Burna Boys, yeah, they're, they're good, but they're just, they, they got to get across the field, right? They have to make it across the field. So they're always in a vehicle, usually. And all you do is you shoot the vehicle. So what I usually do is turn one, I shoot everything I have at the vehicle. Usually it's a battle wagon. So you get it like on the side armor, or if you can just take it out and then you, blow up the battle wagon, or worst thing is worst is if you immobilize the battle wagon. Because then the um, the Burnham boys got to get out, right? To do anything, and once they get out, you just shoot them. That's a, that's a problem. Like, even if they're in a truck, you just shoot them. You shoot the truck, you shoot whatever's in them, and you hurt them. And if you can force them to get pinned, they have to snap fire, and you can't snap fire blast templates, or sorry, flamer templates, right? So... They're easy to deal with, but they're fun. Like, you know, every orc player has that dream of, or that constant wanting to just put down a pie plate, multiply it by 12, not pie plate, um, a burner template, multiply it by 12, and then, you know, that's the, uh, that's the carnage from this uh, template, but it doesn't happen as often as you think, because usually your opponent can kind of see it coming. And so right now I'm going to do is I'm just going to take Abrax Earthshade and do an overall shade, like a, a wash. And that's how I finish up the um, the models is I give them all the, the, the um, not the flesh, but all the clothing, except for the armor. Like all the metallics I'm going to hit with Abrax Earth, uh, with non-oil, sorry. And then the clothing I'm going to uh, hit with this Agrax Earthshade, right? And the other one's non-oil. What it does is it kind of tints it and then just instantly gives them that dirty look that I like with my orcs, and that's the, the standard that I typically paint to. Right, not too crazy of a standard, but uh, it's definitely battle, it's, you know, battle report worthy or tabletop quality or whatever you'd call it, right? Somebody's playing some dubstep. That's cool. There we go. See, look at him. So now he's going to get uh, tinted down, dirties him up, and um, makes it look cool. That's why I love the look of the Orc Boys. It's not a very complicated painting scheme. That's why, you know, I don't need it to, to be too complicated. Orc Boys are kind of that anomaly because you can paint them to such a level, a high standard because of all the detail, but then you're painting like 180 boys. You can't really do that. So, let's keep on with these guys. So we're only about 20, 20 minutes in, and I'm already doing this. So that's a good step. Maybe I'll start those burning boys. As, well, I could probably start on the other guys, uh, the other two that I did earlier. I already hit them with the shade, and maybe I'll work on the skin tones or the blues with them. I'll figure it out. I'll paint. For, as long as I have stuff to do today, I can paint. And if I get... Like them to the point where I can't work on these guys anymore. I'll call it for the day. But we're already at you know, almost we're 25 minutes at the moment, so it's not you know, bad length or anything. As long as I get work done, that's the matter. You know, just set aside some time, work hard, and after an hour or two, you're like, wow, look at all the work I got done. Like the battle, the table. I typically spend about an hour. I've been spending about an hour to two hours a day, and I'm I'm almost done. As I said, I'm, I'm two thirds away there probably. I don't have that many more pieces left, so, or colors left, so it's going to be good. I can't wait to get it done, and, and uh, it's been fun vlogging. I'm going to probably keep vlogging, I think, maybe working on some, like, weekly goals or some painting goals, and then, you know, that way I have my painting with Jay, but then just my vlog where I just work, and you just see my work. I don't want to talk that much. Um, you know, I can just listen to stuff and then paint and relax and keep you up with my work. That's kind of cool. So, people seem to be liking the vlogs that uh, I've been making so far. Not, not, they don't get the most views, but uh, well, 
Today a battle report will go up. Uh, Astromilitarum, one of that I filmed at, at Adepticon with Owen. Necrons versus Astromilitarum. Just to let you guys know, because you're my confidants, the next three are going to be Necrons. They're pretty much the same list, because I brought one list to Adepticon. And uh, I made a couple mistakes, but nothing too serious. And the games were all interesting. Let's just say that. I faced some really tough opponents. I faced an Eldar list that's arguably the toughest list I've ever faced in a battle report period. And you'll see it. It's really, really, really scary. At 1,500 points. I think it was 1,500. Could have been 1,850. I'm pretty sure it was at 1,500. And my opponent just had, like, scary stuff. Like, um, hor uh, what do you, uh, like a Sphinx? Hornets? Um, Wraith Knight? Pretty scary list, so. So it was a pretty scary list. That's all. Let's just say that. But it was a fun battle report. I had a great time filming it. And uh, you'll see what happens. So he got shaded already. Yep. Started to dry. He's shaded. He's shaded. Next time we'll do him. This is crazy. We're not even at half an hour. And I've reached my kind of my goal, what I thought I would do. What else happened this week? I'll take a break for a second and grab a drink. Brought to you by me. I've really cut down on my sugar, but my one soft spot is dollar drinks at McDonald's because they're a dollar. So I occasionally get like a large root beer or something, but I'm really good cutting that back on my sugars. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, I've actually lost like 15 pounds so far since, uh, February. So I'm down just under 15 pounds. I'm not doing a weight loss vlog or anything. I don't want to do that. I just want to. I'm not going to make it like that public, but my goal is to get down to, uh, about probably another 10 pounds, I think would be good. 10 pounds, 15 pounds at most, but, um, yeah, I'm just eating a bit better. I've really cut out snacking. Snacking was my weakness, like snacks. I don't have any, nothing, no sugary snacks. Occasionally like peanut butter with an apple or something, but nothing too crazy. So my calories have been relatively few lately, and it's been good. I've been, you know, I just want to get in better shape, you know, uh, better. I want this is going to be the year. At the end of this year, I want to look back at this year, and we have still six more months, so plenty of time. I want to look back and see all my accomplishments in the face of, I wouldn't say adversity, but a little bit of adversity. Like I've had a rough year, you know. Um, I'm not going to, as I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail or anything, but I, it's been a rough year. Let's just say that. Some things have happened and they've been really sad. And, you know. But it's all good. You keep going. And that's life, right? It's it's. I'm a very staunch believer. It's not just your everyday lives that define you as a person. It's how you react to these you know, dozens of situations in your life. How do you react? Do you get back up? Do you keep going? Do you fall? And that's the kind of things. Do you accomplish your dreams? Do you work hard for your dreams? I know it's cheesy. Really, really cheesy, but it's true. And that's, you know, I didn't ever think I'd make any money painting a model on YouTube. And now I don't make tons of money, but I make a bit. And that makes me happy. I didn't think I'd have, you know, I'm just, I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers. 30,000. You know, like for most big YouTubers, that's nothing. But for me, that's huge. Like for our niche, that's, that's big. There's very few 40K YouTube channels that have made 30,000 subscribers. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. And I'm, I, I'm excited to hit that. This it'll probably be end of the summer. I'm thinking we're all across 30,000, probably near Gen Con, but, um, it depends if anything big happens, like a rule book change or anything, then I'll get a bunch of subscribers because it usually happens where I, you know, I create a new review. So, we'll see. I will be getting back to reviews in the future. I'm not going to probably do a review on something I haven't done yet. To be honest. So, I haven't done the book yet. I probably won't do it ever. But, um, I'm going to do those. I really want to get those crates. I know they're kind of sold out right now. I got mine back ordered. But, uh, from the place I usually buy. But uh, I'm going to get those crates. I really like them. Apparently there's rules for the crates. I thought they were just terrain. But apparently they have like cool rules and they're broken. So that's kind of cool. I was just looking for some cool crates for my, my gaming table. They look cool. I'm also going to contact my, my good friend Austin at Brush for Hire slash um, 
Death Ray Designs, get some of his terrain. I'm going to buy some of his terrain. And, uh, that way, for my gaming table, it would look really good. I really like it. Yeah, I saw his stuff, it's amazing. So. Yeah. Can't believe this. Look at this. These guys are. I have six more knobs, and then I'm going to paint some. Uh... Next, I'm going to paint some Burna Boys. That'll be fun. That's good. Look at all that work I got done. So I'll keep going. Let's. What am I going to do next? Uh, let's do blues on these guys. Kind of. So I've done these guys. These guys are kind of the after photo of what I just did, right? I did all the shading. I'm not going to do any dry brushing or anything. I'm just going to leave it at that because they're, they're orky, tabletop quality. And yeah, so I'm just going to paint some skin blue because they're, all my orcs, of course, death skulls. And that'll be that. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I have 30 minutes. Uh oh. What else happened this week? I was having a bad day. I occasionally have bad days, which everyone should be allowed to have a bad day, right? Especially with Red V. McGrevers. No, I'm kidding. But, um, so, I was having a bad day. And then on Monday, now here's the thing. Um, here's a fun story for you. In Canada, like in most places, you can set up a mail forwarding address, like in case you move. And so my soon-to-be ex-wife, uh, she set up a mail forwarding address for her mail. But for some reason, she gets about half my mail. And I don't know why. We don't have similar names. Like J, and her name begins with like B. So it's not even close, right? Our names aren't close. But she gets my mail all the time. I don't get any of her mail, but she gets my mail all the time. So she got a lot of my mail, and she drops it off every now and then uh, to so that I can get it. She's occasionally in Peterborough. And she'll drop off my mail. And she dropped it off on Mon earlier in the week. I forgot what day it was. And uh, I supported a Kickstarter recently. For, hmm, oh, sorry, I'm just looking where I want to paint. Um, I supported a Kickstarter recently for, I know it looks like I'm ruining the skin, which I kind of am, but I'm going to hit it with a shade after this. I supported a Kickstarter for um, a chibi miniatures line called Smog Riders. And I got, I thought the package was that, right? Because I thought, oh, it must, my package must have arrived. It said miniatures, I wasn't expecting anything, right? So I started opening it up, and I, after like two models, I clicked in that I was really wrong. It was actually, um, it was a gift from a really, 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 really awesome person named uh, Boss Mechwaz slash The Rivet King. And I did a, a review on it, not a review, like an unboxing video, or a showcase video, I guess I should say, of these grot tanks. Now, I haven't put them together yet, but look at these guys. They're amazing. They're uh, resin. And they come with a bunch of guns, which I'm going to put on. Look at these grot tanks. Like These are perfect grot tank size, and I cannot wait to have them start. I'm going to keep working on them during my future painting with Jays. And uh, I will... Did I not? I missed this guy with the shade. Okay, I'll do that. Um... And I'll have them painted up too, because that brings my grot tank total to 18. And that's all the grots I really need. Um, my dream list, which I'm going to be running eventually, is like 18 grot tanks and 18 kilo, or 12 kilocans. I probably have enough. I think I have 12 kilocans at the moment. So I'll do 12 kilocans, 18 grot tanks, uh, two squads of grots. Just have the, the grot list. And just have fun. You know, just have a good time, play it, enjoy. Um. And have fun. I think it'd be a fun list. It may not be the most competitive, but it'd be really fun. Bunch of grot tanks driving around with random speeds. Killer cans. I need a Big Mac to run the the um, the grot tanks. So I'd have to have at least one Big Mac, which I'll bring one. I guess he'll run behind my grots and keep them, or my, my uh, killer cans keep them alive. Yeah. 
So that'll be a really fun list. And eventually one day I'll pick maybe a bet Gen Con if I can spare the money. I don't know if I'll have it though. So maybe eventually, like an Adept Con next year, I'll buy a Mega Grot Tank. I'll start saving up my pennies. It's hard to justify a purchase of a model that expensive. But I'll do it one day. Alright, so they're all shaded. Now him. Oh yeah, I gotta do him. I, it's like I didn't shade half the metals. Oops. I gotta do that, because you gotta shade the metals. So let's shade these metal guys. A lot of weird news in the news lately. So many deaths and shootings, and it really sucks. I don't really, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about and talking about the shootings. I don't wanna focus on the negative in life, unfortunately, but it's really unfortunate that History just keeps repeating itself in certain places. Too many shootings, too many losses of lives. And it does happen in Canada, obviously, as well, but nothing to that extent. Nothing, you know, that to that. You know, and I just, I feel sorry for all the people impacted by it. I really am. I didn't watch this guy's shirt. Oops. So, that's really sorry, too. Um, what else should I talk about? Yeah. Life's pretty good right now. I'm just working my butt off. And I'm getting my second wind. I'm calling it my second wind. Because it's getting to the point now where I can work, like, a few days. Like, I'm working every day. And I burned out for a couple days. And then I'm getting my, my kind of my second wind where I'm just, uh, I'm not feeling it. The exhaust that I was before. Which is nice. Um. It's hard to keep making videos when you're feeling exhausted, to be honest. But uh, it's working out. Like I'm not, I'm not as tired as I once was, which is good. And yeah, look at these guys. They're almost done. I just got to do the eyes, the teeth, and the blue. Cool. What else now? I think I might have to call it soon because I was going to work on these guys, but I'm pretty, I'm we're almost at 40, we're about 40 minutes in. So. So, Jays are about to win because they're good. As I said, they're going to catch up with the, like they've played so well that they're pretty much, in, you know, they're already in the wild card spot. I think they're going to I think it's going to be another good year for the Jays. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, what am I going to do now? Blue Shade. So I need my Dreckenhof Nightshade quickly. Yeah, I might have already taken that. No, there is Dreckenhof Nightshade. Oh, I got a shade. Did I not do the claw? Oops. I'm missing spots. By the way, Adam, you missed a spot. Cody Roo, you too. Both missed spots. Which is good, because I, I reminded Cody Rue and found the spot that he missed, and it was all good. So yeah, when it comes down to it, I am thankful that I get to do this. I am so incredibly thankful. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm able to go through crap and kind of keep going, is the support, and that my thankfulness for the support. I don't take you all for granted. And I, I think that's one of the things. Like I'm always, you're always with me. I know that sounds a little cheesy, but it's true. Like I, I, it blows my brain when I tell people what I get to do for fun. It makes me happy. You know, I love making videos. People are like what you, you make money off YouTube? I'm like yeah. You know, are you rich? And I'm like no, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, or what am I Dragon of Nightshade in the face. And then. Good. Jaden. Jay's win today, which means that they will be. I think they're like one game back from first place in their division. Look at him. 
So that's going to look good. This, of course, their Death Skulls. He's down there. Um, oh, I didn't, even, I didn't miss another spot. Come on, man. I'm like Adam today. And Cody Rube, I'm missing spots. You can be like, Jay, you missed a spot. And you'd be true. I missed his axe. So. And then we'll call it after this. And life is good. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Revy McRoverson. The Tale of Revy McRoverson. I think that's going to be the name of this week's episode. Painting with Jay. The Tale of Revy McRoverson. You were like, what? Who's Revy McRevers? Like, oh, sit back, my friend, and let me tell you a whopping tale involving a giant angry man who rides a motorcycle named Revy McRevers. Yes, he will strike fear into your heart and soul and mind and body. All right, so look at that. We got tons of work done today. They're basically done. I'll, uh, I'll need to do some more shading on... You know, the blue and the shading on the four of them, but then they'll be, oh yeah, these guys are going to be done this weekend, and by next week I'll be done, uh, and I'll be working on the Burner Boys. So let's get now. So I really hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Painting with Jay, and as always, it is brought to you by all of the amazing supporters from my Patreon campaign. Uh, they're over there, and they are just amazing. I can't thank you enough, Patreon supporters, and if you want to support my Patreon campaign, link in the description below. And as always, thank you to all you people for supporting me, and viewing my videos, and painting along with me, being my confidants, being my painting buddies. I can't thank you enough for the support you've given me. Avoid me at Revy McReverson. I hope you got tons of work done this week. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting with me.